Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to get into a subject a lot of people have a lot of questions about and that is medical health insurance. Questions like, should I have medical insurance in Portugal um, privatized? How is the VA foreign medical system in Portugal? Is it existing? Where are the hospitals and doctors for the VA hospital in Portugal? Just an overall cry for help because we know when it comes to medical insurance, it can be confusing and it can be very costly if done incorrectly. Now, first of all, we all know that if you are thinking about getting a temporary residency in Portugal for, with a D7, you do need to have privatized health insurance policies in place to get approved before you even get in front of the SEF. Um, but after that, you should be here and signed up for your local health care number so that you can get free universal medical care. And you'll use that in your local Providence or Municipality Clinic where there are an array of hospitals and doctors at your disposal. Um, so that's the one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you do indeed get free F-R-E-E -E, medical care in Portugal once you have signed up for your national health care number. Now onto the VA system. Those that have 10 to 90% VA disability do know that you do have to pay a portion for your medication. And sometimes you find that that copay sometimes can be a little high, but it is at least less than normal healthcare in the US. Now, for example, here in Portugal, Eric doesn't use the VA system and he pays what the national average is for his prescriptions. He gets four scripts for $18, so they're roughly $4.50 a piece. He doesn't get his medication through the VA system because getting it brought into the country, some are illegal here and they don't do that, so he just gets his medication through his doctor here in our local municipality in Lyria. Um, although he is 100%, he could get them for free, but he just reimburses, meaning that, like I said in other videos, you would send your for your reimbursement um, money to the VA Foreign Medical. Now, you would to do that, you have to make sure you keep the prescription from the doctor, the receipts from your local doctor here, and then you'll send that all into the VA Foreign Medical System for reimbursement. So yes, you do have to pay initially, but like I said, he pays $18 for four scripts. If we can't afford that, we, <laughs> we need some help. Now, do you need VA care? And that's what I tell a lot of people to think about if you're receiving free health care in Portugal, Portugal. And the answer to that, I would say, is no, you don't. The problem is it's really hard for us as U.S. citizens to truly comprehend free health care coverage because we're used to being told that we need to have health coverage and that we are used to paying a lot for our minimalist, minimalist coverage and still having to pay copays when seeing doctors in the USA. Now let's talk about Portugal. In Portugal, doctor's visits at your local clinic are free. Yes, you heard that correct. No copays. Medical tests, x-rays, and ultrasound tests are free with no copay. Again, I cannot stress the word free enough. So that would mean why would you need your VA facility? Why would you need a VA hospital or someone else? The hospital fees are zero in Portugal. In the USA, a hospital check-in to a hospital can be co-pays of upwards to $500 to $1,000. We've all seen that if you've had to ever check in and the first thing they have their hand out for is, here's your copay, here's how much it is, we'll take that before we check you in. In the USA also, most general physicians need to give a referral for you to get a specialty physician. And you have to pay that copay to your general, and then you've got to pay your copay, which is usually higher for specialty doctors. Here in Portugal, no copay means none, no matter the type of doctor. Now, you still have to get the general physician to give you that referral, but at least you're paying zero copay. Now, the only caveat to that, of course, is except for elective medical care like 
cosmetic surgery and such. That, of course, that bang for, is on you, so you have to pay that. So now, let's work to getting out of the mindset. That's the hardest thing to do. Getting out of that mindset of being fearful of paying high in the USA for medical insurance policies and the need for the net for the VA system to take some of that financial burden from us. So let's talk dollars and cents because it doesn't save me dollars. It doesn't make sense, as I always say. In the United States, we paid $450 a month for medical insurance. That's not including any co-pays for doctors. That's not including any pharmaceutical medication that Eric needed um, here in the DR. Then we paid $240 a month. So of course, we were saving over $210 uh, a month, but we still had to have that supplemental insurance. Now here in Portugal, they do have a supplemental insurance, which is about $61 a month for 55 to 75 year olds, which is where the big guy falls into if we had to get or needed to get or wanted to get supplemental medical insurance. Other than that, of course, like I said, free uh, medical care for us here at the local health facilities in Portugal. So you do the math. That means that in the USA, we saved $5,400 a year, and that is not including our copay savings and, of course, medication savings because pharmaceuticals are increasingly high in the United States. And if we are then comparing it to the Dominican Republic, where we just left from, then we saved $2,880 a year but we also had to navigate and fight with the VA system for visits and medication to save that amount of money in the DR. So again, here we just send in our receipts for reimbursement because he is 100% VA disabled and we don't pay for healthcare. So you make the decision that best fits you. Sometimes it, that may be the largest chunk depending on age and things like that, size of family that you spend. And that might be a huge deciding factor to where you want to relocate and live outside the box. So with that, we thank you. We're gonna thank all our new members and of course our A1 day ones for always being there. Always remember if you haven't to hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, make sure to hit that notification button so you can get notified when we have this and other interesting and informative videos. And as always, all information is underneath every video. See you on the next video.